All right, y'all, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so today I am eating chicken salad chick, okay? I'm finally got it. Y'all know I've been talking about it, so I had to finally get it, okay? So if you're new to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel and subscribe. Even if you're not new, if you have subscribed, definitely go and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. Leave some comments down below. Let us know things I see us. Try things I see us cook. Interact with us because we do like to hear from you. I'm going to say grace and get started. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that we're about to receive for nourishments of our bodies and health. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, listen, okay, if y'all don't know, y'all some people know, okay, that when I first, when I first heard about this place or whatever, I tried it like for the first time, what was that, maybe last year or year before, uh, it's definitely the most nervous of thing, like, for real, like, when I went up in there, wasn't nothing but, wasn't nothing but them up in there, okay, um, but, and I like was just like I'm never I'm not gonna be eating there. Like why would I want to go to a place that got chicken? I don't I don't rock with chicken salad like that. And then especially not somebody who ain't melanated making it or whatever or whatever. But then I had went with uh, some of my coworkers and um I was just like okay it ain't bad. I had got this like chicken bacon ranch one basically, and I was like okay well I'm just not gonna go like by myself. If if I'll go like if somebody suggested or whatever, then here I am. This is what my third time being since then or something like that. I don't know, but it's good. I'm sorry. It's basic. It's so basic, but it's good. Okay, so I got. I always get the little um, BLT. It comes with lettuce, tomato, bacon, and then you can choose the chicken salad that you want on there, and then. I get I got two additional scoops of chicken salad. So I told y'all when I tried that pimento sandwich from Chick Fil A that I was just like, okay, well I wonder because I was scared to try this pimento one, and I was just like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like that. Pimentos don't sound like something I'm gonna like. But since I tried that Chick Fil A sandwich, it wasn't bad. I was like, okay, well I'm gonna try this uh, chicken salad from Chick from Chicken Salad Chick. So here I am. Um, and then I get the broccoli salad and I got something to drink. I got. Right. On a sandwich, I got the Sassy Scotty, which is like the chicken bacon ranch. I got a scoop of the pimento cheese. They have a spicy one and a regular one. Did I get the spicy? Let's see. Yes, I did get the spicy pimento. And then I got the Kickin' Kaylin, which is like this buffalo chicken bacon one. So that one is really good. Um... I want to tell you it's so basic, but I just like it. I don't know. Now, we're going to hope that my phone don't overheat y'all because when I picked this spot, it was, well, one, I couldn't see where how it would be shady or not because the sun went out, but not a sun out. Okay. This is the um, BLT. I get it on wheat, toast it. Like I said, it's so basic, but it's so good. <clears throat> like you can mess up a chicken salad, okay? It can be like so bland. Like, you, I mean, it just be like, how you get it to be that bland? Like, how you, how you take the flavor out the mayonnaise, though? Like, but. It's good, and then they, they give you a whole bunch of like little cup crackers or whatever. And a, a pickle, I might not touch that pickle though. Cause it's, uh, it's bread and butter pickles over everything. All right, this is the pimento, I'm gonna try this. It's good. 
and it do got a nice little kick in it because I think this so they have a regular pimento one and they got the spicy one I think they put um, jalapenos is in there jalapenos jalapeno mmm and then they didn't put the um, maybe I can find a way to put the scoop of um, the scoop of the um, Kick and Kaylin in there right here and then they give you a little cookie I wonder if it's a Cheryl's cookie and they just you know what I'm saying oh it is it is a Cheryl's cookie I wonder if I wonder if I I want to say that Cheryl's Cookies is an Ohio thing, but maybe they do it worldwide. But um, I mean, obviously they're definitely in Ohio. Um, Cheryl's Cookie because they just they have a like a specific look to them or whatever. If you've ever had a Cheryl's Cookie, but let's see. This one is from uh, Westerville, Ohio. This is Westerville, Ohio. So I wonder if that's where like their headquarters or where. I'm gonna have to look it up, but um, but they made it, but they have their own like wrapper or whatever, so they like you know probably contracted with Trails Cookies. Trails Cookies be good, man. That's another. If you have had um, them um, sugar cookies from the grocery store that got the icing on them, or even like the ice sugar cookies from Crumble Cookie. That's what a lot of the Cheryl's cookies look like and taste like. They got different flavors or whatever. I'm surprised I, um, I'm surprised I ain't hit y'all with a Cheryl something. But I actually, man, I ain't had Cheryl's cookies in I don't know how long. Probably it's not since actually going in the building or something like that. Cause well, and but not my not my employer because we used to have a cookie. Um. Y'all see, I told you I had got it, lost a cat. Uh, it was a casualty while I was doing my hair. I'm getting them redone soon. But, um, I got the kicking Kaylin over here. This one is really good. It's like, it's got, it's like a buffalo chicken, but it got bacon in there too. What was I saying? I was talking about cookies and Cheryl's cookies and how I haven't had them since I've been at a building. But you know, we still, even though we had a cookie place like in the basement of like, or in like one of the buildings of my employer. And I've done a video with her cookies before because, you know, after the panty, like, so the pandemic kind of like really had forced her to change her business model because she was solely in our, um, in my employer's building or whatever. And then when they closed the building down, you know what I'm saying? Like she had to figure out what she was going to do. And then I feel like when we did come back to the office, they decided that they wasn't going to. some of the spaces that were in the same part where her cookie shop was, they decided that they wasn't going to like renew the leases for those spaces, including her cookie shop. So it was like, we had to figure, she had to figure out what she was going to do to still maintain her business. So she ended up getting a food truck or like a van. Looked like, it kind of looked like one of those sprinter vans, but not as big, but along those lines and she just did like cookie delivery and pop-ups or whatever. I don't know if she had that band. I don't think she had that band before, prior to the panty or whatever, but I'm glad she was able to pivot somehow, some way, somehow still keep her business. You know what I'm saying? So.
And I'm trying to figure out if she's still, if she's still in the building or not. Can't remember. I don't be in the building that long when I do go and work into my job. I don't be in there that long, so I, um, I definitely don't be venturing to that part of the, of the building. But in any event, there was this one day where she was for sure going to be there selling cookies. Like, I feel like it was like a little soft opening or whatever. And it just so happened that my team was in the building at the same time. So I was like, I'm definitely going to go and support. So them cookies is a hit so hard, man. She had a lot of different flavors, homemade. And if you caught her at the right time, like you could get some fresh out the oven, man. So good. Um, and her chocolate chip cookies, uh, y'all know how I feel about chocolate chip cookie. It gotta be a specific kind. For me to rock with or have a specific flavor of hers, I really like hers. And she do like did like chocolate chip peanut butter, chocolate chip like with nuts or whatever. Y'all know I like nuts in my dessert, so. Mm-hmm. And that broccoli um salad is really good. It probably ain't the best out there, but it's good, man. First time I ever had a broccoli salad <laughs> was at a middle of the person house. They, we, they they were having this barbecue. Oh, man. How did, how did that fall? There ain't no wind in here. I want this birthday card. Somebody gonna get this birthday card one time. One day. I got a, um, they got that good ice in there. It was so funny because somebody, one of the people that worked there actually said that they were just like, oh, we got that good ice. They got the hospital ice and this is a, um, triple X Powerade. Like it's like the, what is it? The, oh, maybe I'm, I've been drinking acai this whole time. Cause I think it's like acai blueberry or something like that. Been drinking this since before the bowls was popular. I can't believe the sun. I mean, I'm glad that the sun is out, but like, for real. <laughs> My brother cracked me up. Mm. Um, because we plan, um, we plan fantasy football this year. We play every year. Did we play last year? I don't think we played last year because he wasn't here. And I was kind of sorry about that because he was dragging his tail on setting up the league. And it was just like, dude, you act like you over there. He be, he said that he be over here fighting a war. Okay. For real. He said that insurgents be out of control. Okay. But, um, It's when he set up the league last year. So therefore, I ain't had no reason to watch football. I mean, I'm a Browns fan, <clears throat> but if I'm not playing fantasy football, it's the point not just playing. But uh Yeah, so we playing this year and it's so funny because he could talk all this mess, talk about a lot of uh well he say that um There's gonna be a lot of people in the thanks for thanks for playing category. Like you just donated your fifty dollars and that's it. And when he just sent a text talking about something. He gonna enjoy counting his winnings, you know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for donating to the to his name. Uh Foundation, make a wish. His name, make a wish foundation or whatever. <laughs> He's so crazy. This probably be the bomb because look, it's a whole bunch of like shredded cheese in here, so it probably be the bomb warmed up. Mm. 
<laughs> I remember um <laughs> and my best friend was really his best friend, but I stole him as my best friend too. Um he just said cute. <laughs> Mm. I just, it's just, I just love this so much. I really do. A true salad BLT. And it just made me think about the fact that when Gavin came home, he was just like, for whatever reason, he just really wanted a BLT sandwich. I don't know. Mm, 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 mm. Um, I don't know what I was about to say. Oh, so the bubby, uh. <laughs> Y'all boys started preschool today. Gavin been, uh, he's been started school. Um, uh, Bubby started. Uh -uh. Homie was not feeling it. You hear me? He, just, he was like, I mean, I've been telling him that he's about to start school. And like I said, um, I don't know if I posted that video yet. I don't know, but I was talking about another video where I had to go and sign some papers for his school or whatever. So, you know, I'm telling him, like, that day that we wasn't staying at school. Because, listen, he wanted to go on the playground. He was playing with the toys in the classroom while I was, you know, signing little papers or whatever. And then, um... You know, but we didn't stay that day. But I was like, but next time, you know, when we come back later this week, you're going to stay. Well, Tommy was not okay. Okay. I'm going I'm to show y'all this sister. I put Young Gav's picture in here too from his first day of school, but. Um, the bubby would not smile. <laughs> he would not smile. And then, also, I feel like he was on his Megan stuff again. So, he wasn't, he was, you know, acting like that dang on doll. And I'm like, dude, he was not Megan. I was trying to give him a smile, but he was just not smiling. Um, what else? Yeah, he wasn't smiling. He did not want to stay. I went mean, last night. Because, um, he was at my brother's house. Yeah, I stayed the night over there. And, you know, uh, he had was asking where I was and uh because we was on family call and my sister-in-law messed around and told him that uh I said that he was gonna have to stay and live with her y'all all heck broke loose my homie had a whole he had a breakdown my baby had a breakdown okay you're like what do you mean he didn't say all that. He just was crying. He just was crying. Just bawling. Boo-hoo crying. You hear me? Like, that hurt his little soul. Woo. And what I do? What's wrong? Like, he just couldn't. He just, it took him so long to calm down. Like, because he was just crying. He was just like, I gotta stay here with this girl. Like, I just said I would come to visit. 
He's gonna be mad again because he's going over over there again. Um, this weekend. Well, the thing is, he be fine. And we were talking about how you know he's like super attached to me and stuff like that. And I don't know that it was I don't know that it's necessarily breastfeeding, but maybe it is. I breastfeed him for over two years, so. Um, but like, he's always giving people problems, like when he has to separate from me, he, um, but both of them little boys, they love me, okay, they love me to death, and, you know, they say, um, when you have kids, God gives you what you need, I need them. <laughs> Y'all don't know why I'm, um. Gonna make me Um, excuse me. I don't know why that just made me. It made me kind of emotional, y'all. Like just to think about that. Like I really do think. Like I really do feel like. Like I needed unconditional love for my kids. You know what I'm saying? Still, you know, still do like they and they they definitely provide that for me. Like it don't matter what I do. You know what I'm saying? How mad I how mad I make little Gavin? How much I piss him off? He they never stop. They never stop loving me. They never stop wanting to be around me, be under me. Like it's so funny. They actually get a little sweet. Well, maybe that's just kids in general. You know, after they get after you get in trouble, boy, you get a little sweeter. You know what I'm saying? You be like. What can I do for you? But I'm grateful. <laughs> um But yeah, they them them little boys is obsessed with me, okay? Um both very protective. <laughs> Um, what was about to say? Um, uh, the Bubby, he think that I'm just his mama sometimes, though. He off the chain. He'd be like, my mom? Or, like, he'd be and talking to Gavin. Gavin, like, I'm like, Gavin, Gavin, I'm Gavin mom, too. Like, uh. but the Bubby said he got monopoly over me, okay? Oh, they gave me two cookies. Yay. And so what? I'm sure sure those cookies they brought you probably gonna get them shipped though for sure. Worldwide, you know what I'm saying? But in our like well, I, actually I don't know if it's still in East End. Uh it might still be in East End. They had a little like a storefront in East End and I know Cheryl's got a little storefront in Westerville, like down the street from here. Okay. Finally satisfied my chicken salad chick craving because every time I be wanting it, they be closed. They close on Sundays. And I literally always be wanting it on a Sunday and forget that they be closed. 
Um, what else I got? I think I said. Oh, I think that's how we was just talking about how. Oh, well, first I ain't finished my thought talking about how. You know, Gavin. I mean, me and Gavin was attached at the hip. Like we was together all the time. Like when you saw me, you saw Gavin, or you knew if you invited me somewhere, Gavin was coming. Don't even, don't even ask the question because he's gonna be there. Um, you know, because it was just me. Like I, I, I like for leisurely stuff. I just don't. You know, I, I don't all. I don't really like to ask people to watch my kids if it ain't like development related you know professional educational work related or whatever like because otherwise like mm -mm. even then nobody minds and i think they probably don't mind because i don't i'm not a person that's like you know i'm not out here in these streets or whatever and i'm not you know asking people to keep my kids all the time like i just don't believe in pawning my responsibility off to other people or whatever so only for like if I really need any people know, like by I'm, I'm, I'm asking, then well, she must really need, you know, she's, they know I've exhausted all other options. Like for the most part, I depend on the male parental units to do what they're supposed to do. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm only asking people as a last resort for real. But um, in any event, you know, you would think that Gavin would be the one that is attached, like the Bubby is. And I feel like maybe at one point he was. Um, and maybe he still is, you know what I'm saying? Um, it just shows up differently than the Bubbies. But the Bubby, I leave him somewhere, boy. Like, and it was crazy, even like uh, the last time I dropped him off at his male parental unit house, he, um, he threw a fit like he did not want me to leave he did not want to not be at my house and then the bubby be cool for a day without me maybe and then after that he'd be like uh where's my mom or he will he'll call me and he'd be like i want to come to your house i want to come to your house and i'm like uh and i'd be like uh, i play my i'm you know reclaiming my time like massey water i see you on you know whatever scheduled day you're supposed to come back which ain't the day <laughs> That boy, that boy love, uh, 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 me. You gotta love me too. You gotta love me too. Um, they're just, as, they're, they're both just as obsessed. It's, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And I hope it stays that way. I hope, I hope, you know, I hope we, and then, you know, I'm excited. I mean, I, I'm not excited for them to grow up because I'm just like the bubby, I think. I don't know when I, I was definitely very and I'm gonna have to hurry up. I, I was definitely kind of I don't know a little uptight as a parent because it was my first child when I was um, parenting Gavin and I was just it was so much stuff that I was worried about man like you know financially you know physically physically just everything I was worried about but as a first time parent or whatever that I don't feel like I mean I enjoyed his you know his youth and you know when he was smaller definitely did but I wish I had sat back and enjoyed it a little bit more but I mean man I had to hustle I had to work like because it was just me and him you know what I'm saying like it just me and Gavin have been through the fire even though Gavin don't know you know what I'm saying he never felt the effects of it because I made sure of that but like man me and Gavin been out here, you know what I'm saying? And with the Bubby, I feel like I'm a little bit more, I'm not definitely still not where I would love to be, but definitely in a better position, I think, um, you know, just in life. So I'm able to sit back and enjoy his childhood a little bit more and stuff. And I'm, I'm cherishing the moments because, you know, I know that they're not, they're not going to be the small forever. Um, yeah. So anywho, all right. I was going to start rambling, as always, so I'm a piece of fire here on y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments down below. Let us know things you like see us trying, things you like see us cook. Interact with us, because we do like to hear from you. And subscribe to the channel. Like, well, and subscribe. And hit that bell so you get notifications the next time we post a video. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.